You spend loads of time taking care of your pup, but does that mean you're their favorite person? Dogs can choose to imprint on another family member, or even someone they see once a week. Why is that? Turns out there are specific things we do that dogs secretly can't resist. Today we'll dive into seven psychological tips that will make you, without a doubt, the number one person in your dog's world. Tip number seven, absolute confidence. It may seem counterintuitive, but your dog may like you more if you're strict in a very specific way. What if one day your dog is allowed to munch on cookies from the table, and the next day they're told it's off limits? Or you shower them with love when they greet you excitedly after a long work day, but scold them for jumping on you when you're dressed up? The key to winning your dog's heart is to be their source of consistent, predictable things. Take teaching them to wait before crossing the street, for example. Use the same command every time and when they do it right, and only when they do it right, give them a treat. Soon enough, they'll catch on and your dog will naturally start looking to you for guidance, hanging on your every word and eager to follow your lead. And that's how you build a rock-solid bond. Dogs are highly sensitive to our cues, including our mood, tone of voice and body language. By staying calm and confident, you're showing them that you've got this whole leadership thing under control, without resorting to any tough guy tactics that can actually do more harm than good. Which brings us to number six, positive associations. When it comes to winning your dog's affection, it's all about the associations they make. Dogs are pretty simple creatures in this regard. The more positive interactions they have with you, cue belly rubs, the more they'll see you as the bringer of good things. But here's the flip side. Dogs can also act out against those who bring bad vibes. Say you've got your pup all cozied up for some much-needed TLC, starting with a nail trim. Not your doggo's favorite pastime, to say the least. Start by introducing your pup to the nail clippers gradually, letting them sniff and investigate at their own pace. Then, when it's time to trim those nails, go slow and steady, offering plenty of treats and praise along the way. You might even throw in a little massage or belly rub to sweeten the deal. And that, my friends, is how you stay in your dog's good books, one paw at a time. Number five, being a part of their routines. If you're the one who's always there for your doggo, making sure they're fed, watered and cozy, it's no wonder they might see you as their favorite human. Sharing a regular schedule of walks, playtime and training sessions can work wonders, creating a feeling of predictability. It's like they know exactly what to expect and when to expect it from you, which deepens their attachment. So, if your pup goes nuts for a game of fetch, why not make it a part of your daily routine? There's actually research to back it up. A study from the University of Veterinary Medicine Vienna found that dogs form stronger bonds with people who engage in activities together. Even if it's just 30 minutes, that focused attention can work wonders for your relationship. But let's not forget about breed tendencies. Some dog breeds are just wired to attach themselves to one person more than others. Take Greyhounds, Shiba Inus, Chihuahuas, Dachshunds, Akitas and Basenjis. They're known for latching onto their favorite human like Velcro. On the flip side, breeds like Boston Terriers, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels, Boxers, Irish Setters and Labrador Retrievers are all about spreading the love equally to everyone they meet. Number four, the source of all good things. Dogs absolutely thrive on attention. Whether it's a back scratch or a gentle chest rub, they're all about soaking up that love. And let's not forget those magical ear massages. That's the stuff doggy dreams are made of. They will put themselves in vulnerable positions for you, belly up, and allow you to freely touch their head and paws, areas that dogs are normally very protective about. But if your dog is not big on touch, Here's the real kicker. Dogs have over 220 million scent receptors in their noses. That's way more than our 5 million. So every snack to a dog, it's like hitting the jackpot at the buffet. During your next walk or play, bust out the high value treats. Think small pieces of cooked chicken or freeze dried liver. Your dog will be drooling at the mere sight of them. And here's a tip. 
If you're your doggo's primary source of tasty morsels, you might notice they are less touchy in those unpleasant cases when you have to interrupt their mealtime. But the quirk with many dogs is that when it comes to picking their favorite person, it's not about who feeds them or takes them for walks. That's due to number three, personality quirks. If your dog is a ball of furry energy, they're probably going to gravitate towards someone who's just as lively and up for adventure. In fact, a study published in the Journal of Research and Personality found that dogs can have traits like extroversion, agreeableness, and openness to experience. Who knew, right? So if your dog loves sprinting through the park or taking a dip in the pond, make sure to indulge them in those activities. Your dog will come to see you as their top pick, itching to hang out with you, approaching you first when you come home with other people. On the flip side, if your pup prefers the peace and quiet life, they'll likely cozy up to someone who values relaxation over bustle. Number 2. Earning their trust During their key socialization period, which happens from birth to around six months, dogs form some of their strongest bonds. So if you got your pup at an older age, they won't be a blank slate. Positive or negative experiences with certain folks in the past will influence how they feel about new people. If your furry pal seems a bit hesitant or standoffish around you, let them come to you at their own pace. Dogs are usually not into the human way of hugging because they might perceive it as something that restricts their movement and makes them vulnerable. You may also catch them leaning away when you try to plant a kiss on their head. But when they choose you as their favorite, oh boy, you'll know it. They'll stick to you like glue, curl up next to you at night, follow you everywhere like a little shadow, and might even sneak off with your stinky socks. Gross, but hey, it's a sign of affection. And ever noticed yourself using that high-pitched baby voice when chatting with your pup? Even science says it's a winner. Researchers at the University of York discovered that using dog-directed speech, with all its exaggerated emotion and squeaky tones, actually boosts the bond between humans and our furry friends. So, feel free to break out the baby talk. Your pup will lap it up. Which brings us to the heartwarming number one. Never giving up on your dog. You know, dogs are just like us, imperfect with their own quirks and flaws. They might chew up your favorite shoes or bark at the mailman every single day. But hey, that's all part of the package, right? When your pup acts out, take a deep breath and remember they're still figuring things out. Guide them gently towards better behavior, and when they get it right, shower them with praise and treats. It's a commitment for life, through thick and thin. So, whether it's sunny days at the park or rough patches with torn pillows, you're in it for the long haul. After all, that's what being a dog parent is all about. Unconditional love through good times and bad. What if we told you that gender plays a huge role in shaping your dog's behavior and personality? Check out this video where we uncover the key differences between male and female dogs. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our doggy-loving community.